It is time to finish this build. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com and MakingWithMetal.com. We've been working our way through a custom 224 Valkyrie Remington 700 bolt action rifle build. We did the chambering of the barrel in the last video. We built this cool custom thread protector. That means our barreled action is complete and we can complete the assembly of the rifle. So in this video, what I'm going to take a look at is installing our Trigger Tech Special. This is a one pound to three and a half pound adjustable trigger with no creep. Can't wait to try that out. We've also got the bolt stop and then we're going to install the barrel to action in our Kinetic Research Group KRG Bravo chassis stock. This is an affordable stock but it gives you a lot of different configuration options. It's adjustable and I found out it's going to work great with our oversized recoil lug. So let's get to work installing the trigger. So let's take a quick inventory of what we've got. We've got the barrel to action with sort of the magwell area pointing up. We've got the Trigger Tech Special Trigger Assembly. We've got two trigger pins. I made these from 8th inch music wire because I didn't have any on hand and I filed them down to the proper diameter good fit on the lathe. We've got the bolt stop and the bolt stop spring. We're going to start by getting the bolt stop in place. So it's going to be oriented like this so that the back of the bolt is against this little step right here and we're going to kind of align the hole with the axis of where the pin goes. Okay, and then the spring gets put back here and I'm just going to kind of push down on this assembly and then take the pin and kind of guide everything into place. Pushing down just a little bit, there we go. That is exactly how we need that. Then I'm going to pull the rear pin out so that the end of it is flush with the inside of the cutout, but not too far. We want to leave this bolt stop assembly in place. Then I'm going to put the front pin in place from the other side then we can very carefully drop the trigger assembly in place. And we're going to want to make sure that this is back on the safe position. So it's out of the way of this rear pin here. And I can actually just push on this by hand here and make sure that things are aligned appropriately here. Okay, make sure that the pin axes are aligned properly. Now we can take an eighth inch pin punch and hammer and then just kind of very gently tap things into place. Is that centered? Okay, we want to make sure that we're not against the bolt stop there. So I'm going to call that good there. Rotate things slightly and then we'll just very, very carefully tap this rear pin into place as well. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just watching the other side. Good and centered now. Okay. So now our, our bolt stop should pivot. Okay. And make sure that the safety is out of the way of the pin. Good to go. Once the trigger and bolt stop are in place, we need to just do a little bit of a fine tuning here to get this bolt stop lever to pivot perfectly against the bolt stop itself so that the point of the lever here, this bracket, goes right into the tip of the V. And now that's actually working better. It was binding up just slightly before. Let's do a quick function test with the bolt. Okay, so chamber is clear. We're gonna just go ahead and insert the bolt from the rear, put the handle down, Squeeze the trigger, good. And then we're gonna validate that the bolt stop is working properly. And then when we squeeze the bolt release, the bolt comes out, excellent. So right here is our pull weight adjustment screw and we can use the included Allen key here to increase the pull weight by tightening and decrease the pull weight by loosening. And I'll have a separate video with the trigger scan showing how the trigger pull weight looks with the force distance profile with different settings for this. So that'll be cool. You want to make sure you subscribe for that. So I took the Bravo chassis over to the milling machine and did a quick eighth inch hole drill on the trigger guard so that I could have quick access to the trigger adjustment screw. 
Okay, so it's time to drop the KRG Bravo stock onto the barreled action. And I'm looking at the trigger. I'm just gonna kind of center that, guide it down into the trigger guard, make sure the recoil lug is aligned with the recoil lug recess, and then get our 3 16 T-handle wrench in place. And this is just gonna be finger tight on the front action screw initially. Now we can drop the rear action screw and washer in place and kind of do the same finger tightening of that action screw, okay? Just a little bit. Now we're gonna make sure everything is seated properly. We want the recoil lug to be seated real firmly against the stock, so we're just gonna give this a few taps downward to make sure that everything is settled in appropriately. Now that we've seated the action into the stock, it's time to finish torquing the action screws. And what I've got here is a Wheeler fat wrench. I've got it set to 65 inch pounds, which is the appropriate specification here. And ideally, I would alternate back and forth between the front and rear screws. Unfortunately, I don't have a 3 16 inch bit that's gonna fit to that depth here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it for the rear. I'm gonna put my T-handle wrench on the front. And then I'm just gonna alternate kind of between the two and make sure that these are at about the same torque. It's not rocket science, it just needs to be kind of in the right range and it needs to be done incrementally. Done. After the action screws are torqued, we've got one more screw here behind the action to tighten. Next, we adjust length of pull, and the KRG Bravo ships with three of these spacers that you can use between the stock and the butt pad to adjust your length of pull. I think I'm gonna try one. So I've already taken off the rubber butt pad and removed the screws. The washers are still in there held captive. So we're gonna take the screws, they're numbered one, two, and three for the number of shims that you're using. We're gonna go ahead and push those through the rubber. Get aligned with the hole, push it through with this three millimeter T-handle wrench, and then make sure that we don't stab our hand. <laughs> We're gonna put the shim on, and then we can just tighten the screws to finish the installation. Now, if I decide I don't like this length of pull, I can just remove these screws yet again, and then adjust accordingly. So it's got a pretty a pretty good adjustment range and I definitely like that. I could adapt this to different shooters. Makes it really very versatile. Okay, so we're going to do kind of a finished torquing on each side here. All right, that's looking good. While the stock is inverted here, I'll note that we've got a swivel stud here and so I'm going to put on a Harris SBRM bipod. This is the kind of bipod that I like to use. And boom, we are getting closer. The Bravo also has an adjustable cheek pad. You just loosen this screw here and you can adjust it for different heights, which is nice. You can also take it off, which gives you a little bit better access when you're installing and removing the bolt, cleaning the rifle, that kind of thing. So we can put our bolt in, put the cheek pad back down, and then let's just check to make sure that we're clear. Good, okay. And looks like everything's working the way it should. This rifle is really coming along. We got the Trigger Tech Special Trigger installed. We got the bolt stop installed. The KRG Bravo chassis is in place and I made my kind of rough adjustments that I want to start out with. This is exciting, but we've got one more thing to take on before we can take the rifle to the range, and that's to deal with the magazine issue. That's right, with the 224 Valkyrie bolt action rifle, the bolt is one consideration. I'll talk about that separately. But then you need a magazine that's gonna feed this cartridge that wasn't really designed for bolt action rifles. And the trick is Accuracy International Magazine's Primal Rights 6BR magazine conversion kit. That's the subject of the next video. So I hope that you'll subscribe to Gavin Tube, click on notifications, the little bell, so that you don't miss any of this action. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy gunsmithing, happy shooting, and happy reloading. Yeah.